Week 12 is finally here. I'm so shocked by how quickly time just passed and it feels really good. I wanna share with you in today's video some week 12 updates. Liz here with Full and Fulfilled. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. This is the last video of the full series of the 12 weeks, but I'm here to tell you, I'm gonna continue on. So you're gonna see more videos like this as I'm going to continue at least four more weeks working with Emily at Plant First. So come along and let's chat today. This week, I did incorporate a little bit of avocado into probably about two of my meals. And I worked with Emily on this about maybe adding in some fats here or there. And so I did start to do that this week, which I felt fine, but part of me just really likes the super simple foods and the consistency of not having to think about adding much other things to my food. So we'll see what transpires from all of that. But overall, I stayed super consistent, super simple, kept on my three mile walks with my weighted vest. I did do a few days of weights. I actually did run two times this week. I just had so much energy. I can feel myself just changing and I have energy. And so it's just great that I can go out and run for two to three miles feel good, not feel winded, and just really good in my skin. There was a few times that I had to eat out this week, which I just had sushi. That's like a really good way to stay on plan and continue this lifestyle without adding in the oils and, and things like that. Um, so overall, it was a great week. I'm sure you're wanting to know how many pounds has Liz lost in week 12. I am down 1.6 pounds. But I have a feeling I'm now getting to a place where I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to lose much more weight. And so we'll just see what this looks like, but I am definitely past my initial goal weight. I would be happy if I lost like one more pound just to get to that number. Um, but I will tell you, I have lost a total pounds of, I need to check my phone. <laughs> I need to give you all the right numbers. I am down 17.2 pounds in 12 weeks. I really can't even believe it. I feel like I've transformed so much in my health and my wellness and myself during this whole process. So I will do another video around like all the things about the last 12 weeks because it's been a remarkable experience that I put myself in and just emerged my whole entire life around this for the last 12 weeks. And it's been really, really empowering to me. So I am down a total of 17.2 pounds in 12 weeks. And it's all because I kept myself accountable. I was consistent with my meals and kept them super, super simple. I worked out just walking and I also kept my fat intake really, really low. And there you have it. Just having a bunch of leftovers, a bunch of lettuce from my garden with cucumbers and carrots, some soup I made, and some rice. Lots of lettuce here. Day 78 here. I haven't been like super, super hungry, but we are actually going out tonight. And so I'll probably have a little bit of appetizers like fruit, um, maybe a little bit of bread. They're gonna have a beautiful board um, of things to pick from. I'll probably have a glass of wine um, and then dinner at home. It's the safest bet. 
so here is dinner. Just having more scalloped potatoes with some Cholula and zucchini. So good. Day 79, sitting underneath my carport, my new patio. I've been outside a lot today, got a lot of activity in, and just working in my journal. Come along for what I all ate today. Little snack for today, mango and one banana. I am really hungry today, so I am adding in some extra starch and I'm back to broccoli this week, I feel like. So I'm excited. I did put some Japanese barbecue sauce on the broccoli today, just feeling like it, and some ketchup on my hash browns. All right, here is my lunch. A Little bit of hummus there. Here is my dinner. Some more rice and broccoli casserole with a salad, green beans, and some zucchini. Day 80. We're in the 80s now, and we are on the last week, total of 12 weeks working with Plant First. We will reevaluate at the end of the week to just see where we're at, what additional support I need, and just move through all the changes. And like for me, I'm just soaking up the change, the change that I've seen in myself and that I did for myself. So welcome to a new day. First meal of the day, I have some bean salad, sauerkraut, a bunch of zucchini, and my broccoli and rice. And as you can see, my 50-50 really shows you that I'm eating more vegetable per se. Okay. So today I had like so much energy, I ended up going for a three mile run on my watch. It says it was a walk, but it was a run and I also did my three mile walk. So lots of activity today. All right, so here's dinner. I did my scalloped potatoes. I had a few beets from my garden with my zucchini relish. I just loved eating it. Some dilly beans and a bunch of zucchini. Yum. This is like one of the best meals. It is getting late here. I am having some oranges as a snack after dinner. Day 81, getting out for a early morning walk. I have a bunch of calls this morning and we'll see what I have in store for me for food. I made a bunch of casseroles this week, so I'll probably be living on those. They come in so handy and take little time. And I love Emily's cheese sauce. So good. For lunch today, I am doing sushi with half of the roll. I put in a little bit of avocado, I think four pieces or like it was one slice. And just gonna see how my body responds to that and a bunch of cabbage. Excited for this meal. So here is dinner. I have my scalloped potatoes with Cholula, my zucchini relish, a bunch of zucchini, and my dilly beans. Having some mango and banana for dessert. I hope you are enjoying this video. I would love a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content. You guys have so many questions and engaging comments during this series. Thank you for being here and cheering me on in this whole journey. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this coming your way. Day 82, getting a head start for my day. I got a lot going on. And so just working through it, but started with my walk and I'm already getting hungry. So I think I'm gonna probably have some hash browns when I get back to the house for my first meal today. Breakfast is standard today. I just got back from running errands and having a quick lunch before I head out again today. It's a busy day. So here is dinner tonight. I had a zucchini salsa. So I'm just gonna have it with some of my broccoli and rice, some baked beans and zucchini. Hello friends, welcome to day 83. Yes, 
83. Um, I am going out today, so I'm actually gonna have lunch out. I'm gonna do sushi. I may add in a little bit of avocado. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I feel like that's risky, but all good. First meal of the day, I'm gonna be out, so I'm actually gonna be probably having lunch out, possibly sushi. So I am going to have some potatoes and cabbage. Having lunch out, I'm having one roll with some avocado and another one is coming just with carrots and cucumbers. But a big salad, well, small. <laughs> I could eat like 10 of these. And here's my other roll. Just cucumber and carrot. Here is dinner. I got some baked beans, some rice with my cheese sauce and broccoli zucchini and carrots, it's gonna be a good meal. Here's my first meal of the day. I have been loving these hash browns and then I have some zucchini relish with some cabbage. I got this at Trader Joe's this week, gonna try this out. Day 84, it's the last day of the 12 entire weeks working with Emily at Plant First. All right, so here is my scalloped potatoes with a bunch of zucchini, corn, broccoli, cabbage, the works. Here we are, week 12 in the books. I stayed consistent for 12 entire weeks and broke my plateau right away and feeling so good feeling so energized. Thank you again for being here on this journey. You all have just cheered me on and I hope that you've been inspired by not only trying to maybe breaking your plateau or just staying consistent or giving yourself these pep talks of you can do this. I'm living proof that you can, when you put your mind to something and heart to something, you can do it. So thank you for being here.